Today's Sunday, it's the 28th of July 2024 and Luna and Savannah are going to choose where we're going to today. They've got a little pot there which has got lots of pieces of paper in with names of places we might be going to. And so, uh, Luna's going to pick one out now. Which one are you going to pick out Luna? Choose one. Right, that says where we're going to today. Let's have a look to see what it says. It says Dorchester. Wow, we haven't been to Dorchester for ages. I like Dorchester. That'll be an interesting place to go to. Thank you very much. Well, today's Sunday. It's the 28th of July. It's 2024. The and sun is uh, the sun's shining. It's a beautiful day. And we're in Dorchester. And Dorchester today has got something of a car boot sale. So. Uh, I think she's already spotted the plants, but I don't think she's going to be buying any of those. Leon's uh, looking at the golf clubs. Books. So what they've done here, they've just taken over a section of the car park, but it goes on and on in different areas, so there's going to be lots and lots of things to see, and uh, here, when you see the books, they're all in English, so that's nice for us. Take care. Yeah. Metal detector there. They great fun. Go to the beach micrometer. <laughs> More through here, and it just goes on and on and on this way. And uh, there's actually a big section inside as well. Not sure, whether I'll be able to do much videoing inside. Might be a bit too dark. Gone in there. Big, isn't it? Some nice fossils down there. Ammonites. Lots of tools, but I don't think I could take any of those back with me. You can, Serena can take them. Oh, Adolfo, you definitely don't need to come here. What do you say? This is just one of the areas where they've got uh, stalls. Oh, they've been buying yeah, pies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another room full of stuff in there. We're in Thomas Hardy country, so not surprising to see Thomas Hardy journals. Yeah. Bit of golf clubs there. Thank you. Oh, 
Sexy guitar. Selection there. Places are now starting to pack up, but uh, there's still a little bit more. If we come around on this side, it's still a bit outside we've not had a look at yet. There's a hobby horse down there. The girls were playing on one of those when we went to Light Scary. Somebody shouts Grandad in there. Look around. Yeah, come back down of tripods here, which are always going to be interesting to me. Nice trough here, which has been held in lovely flowers, presented to the town. 25th of May 1888, and it's actually a lovely granite. I'm um, just looking, yeah, it's some of it's worn a little bit, but there it's really nice, still polished granite. Well, the car boot sale's more or less packed up, so we're just going to make our way down and have a little look in Dorchester itself. It is a, a lovely town, and uh, one thing that always caught our heart, eye was the, the horse across the road there. So I'll just make my way down there, and they'll catch me up. They've been taking all their booty to the car. So, auction room there, Dukes. phone box here, you don't see many of them now and I suppose they're not really needed. This one doesn't seem to be looked after very much. I'm not sure you could still use that one. There doesn't seem to be a handset to it. Magnificent horse. And he's coming now on the car park across the road. Interesting things stuck in the corner here. Got some more market stalls in the square. We've got a nice square there, it actually looks like one of the fountain squares. And then we've got like, someone singing there with very loud amplified music. Just one or two stalls. Actually got a, a liqueur stall over there. And olives. <laughs> stalls down here and he's just found something quality leather I want 
purse I can put my photographs in. It's a bit uh, to the main town part of Dorchester. This is the main street. And uh, this has already found a stall. There seems to be lots of stalls. Not sure how often this is on. It's uh, really nice and it's bringing in the crowds. So it's a Sunday. Do you like the fact that it's Sunday? It's coming up towards midday. Do you want to cut your hair? And we've got shops open, no, stalls open. And lots of people wandering around. It's uh, quite busy up in front. And I found the shady side of the street, so that's good. <laughs> nice bird pictures here. Coffee time and a little snack. Whoa, look at that for a Cornish pasty. I wish that was on my diet. Oh, we've had a nice coffee, so we're just having a little walk after that. And, uh, you know, I like architecture. I just found a nice building, a really nice building here, look. Dating from 1616. Even though it's a Sunday, some of the shops have opened up. It's good. It's quite nice to see. And it's lovely and warm. Really nice temperature. It's supposed to be up to about 24 degrees, which for England, very nice temperature. Waterstones, one of the bookshops. And the symbol in Dorchester at the moment is the sunflower, so you can see sunflowers hanging around above the street here and then the girls were given stickers of sunflowers. So a really nice building on the side here. This is uh, Barclays Bank and it's got a blue plaque on it which says this house is reputed to have been lived in by the Mayor of Casterbridge in Thomas Hardy's story of that same name in 1885. And just across the road we've got another bank, this time it's the National Westminster Bank but also uh, a nice looking building with nice stonework. And right at the top, difficult to see, but there is some nice embossed stonework protected by netting from the pigeons. And up above, we can see the sunflowers there. A symbol of summer. Just going past W. H. Smith's. Another nice stone building on the other side. This time slightly lighter colour. With the ionic columns at the top there. No really indication of what that building is. Uh, 
I can't see any signage or the existence of any previous signage. It's actually used by the coffee shop which is next door. But look at them. That is just a lovely building as well. The coffee shop called Finca. And it's just that narrow stone building in between. Beautiful. Not just uh, pigeons, we've got some seagulls around as well. They do make a lot of noise. Two for sixteen pounds. While they're in the works, I've just spotted another building that uh, has caught my eye, and that's one of the beauties of Dorchester. Is uh, it's just the lovely buildings that they've got here. And I think even the boots of the pharmacy over over the road. That nice building, and then. The one that really caught my eye was the one next to it, which is the Antelope Walk. Let's see if I can get a, a nice view of that one. back at the uh, car park now and where all the car boot sale was which is all under that area there that's all gone now well we've had a nice time in Dorchester and uh, managed to pick up a few bargains at the car boot sale and in the town and it's now time for us to go home so thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye bye, bye.